you've probably noticed that when you try to add a gradient to some editable text in Illustrator, as we have here, when I try to add it, nothing appears, even though the fill says that there's a gradient added. Fortunately, there's a very simple trick around this. What you need to do is make sure your text is selected, and then you want to take off both the fill and stroke. Once you're happy with that, then you want to come down to your appearance panel. Now, if you don't have this here, find it in window appearance. You'll see under appearance, everything is turned off. If you come to this little button here, add new fill, you've added a fill here. Now from there, if you then come to your gradient and press gradient slider, you now add the gradient to the text. And what's amazing about this is that the gradient moves with the text, as you can see. So this means that you don't have to select right click and create outlines. You can actually edit this text. From there then, the standard rules apply with gradient. You can change the slider as such. You can add new colors or click and drag to remove them. When you've selected a certain area of the slider, if you double click it, you could bring up the swatches panel here and choose colors accordingly, or you can select the fill here and put in custom colors um, as per your preference. So let's add kind of cool, fun disco colors to this. Play around with the slide until we're happy. And then there you go. I can always go back in then and address the gradient as such. And as I said before, if I want to add or change this in any way, the gradient moves with it. So there you have it. There's a very simple way to add gradient to editable text in Illustrator so that you don't have to create outlines with the text and then add a gradient from there. Really hope you liked this tutorial. Hope you found it useful. Feel free to leave your feedback in the comments section and let me know of any future tutorials you'd like me to do. As always, please subscribe, turn on notifications, and I look forward to seeing you all for the next tutorial.